Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about design questions. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I don't feel so confident in solving system design questions. Would this be a problem in a job interview? Not always, sometimes it might be a problem for you. So depending on the company they you should know that every IT company has their own hiring process you can go to three different companies that even even if they are in the same building might have very different ways of validating whether or not you're a good software developer you can get anything from computer science related questions to like application development questions to system design questions and like logic tests, like there's all kinds of different ways uh, people test their software developers before they hire them. And one of them is definitely going to be system design questions. And usually the way that you're tested on this is to do a whiteboard test type of thing. Now a whiteboard test can of course also be that you write out an algorithm on, on, uh, on a whiteboard. But uh, the, there's also this other way of doing it which is that you actually write out you sketch out a system or des you design a system you're given some piece of paper or some specification on a application or a business need that, that some customer has and then you're supposed to build it so being able to uh, to actually design a system is a well it as has, uh, it, the hard part about this <coughs> is that it, the test itself can be on multiple levels. I mean, if you're going to be an architect, yes, this is going to be a fairly important type of thing to test for. But if you're just going to be an application developer, even if it's part of your workflow, it's or because technically, an under at the very least, an understanding of a system design is going to be relevant for you for work purposes. It's not something that you necessarily is, you, need, you need to be a master of. So I don't think you have to be so, you don't have to be super concerned that you might not know, I don't know, how to design a, multi, like a, like a multi-team system using SOA with event buses and load balancers. There's so many ways that you could design a system. You can design it in like painful detail with services and multi-cloud solutions and like really go deep and like cost analysis and then you can keep it super simple and like draw a few boxes. Yeah, we're going to have this server here and then there's going to be this uh, front end thing and there's going to be a database. Like, uh, I mean, it can vary. It's like, I mean, it's like a book. Some books are for children and some books are for like scientific research. There's, uh, there's and everything between in between. That's how you can, how you can deal with system design and these sorts of questions. So I don't think that you have to be so concerned that you don't feel confident in solving these sorts of issues. What I think that you, if you want to work on it, go and have a look at a few um, like blogs or you can go on medium or whatever and look a little bit at the different types of architects uh, arch architectures that are fairly famous there are quite a few uh, there are a few of them and, and one thing that i really think that you should consider which is probably my favorite thing is to look at blog posts by different companies where they explain their architecture like they just walk through like they do a case study on one of their systems or how they do things and then just read through just try to try without judging them because there's no right or wrong reason right or wrong answer here usually just read through and see what they have to say about why they made the choices they made and so forth and if you read enough of those articles you you will start to see that okay this is usually how people sketch out a system because that is the th that the, th the thing that they have just done and posted online so that you can read it is very much the same sort of thing that you're going to have to do in these sorts of uh, job interview questions so what i want you to take away from this is that if you feel uncomfortable dealing with system design questions i should tell you that 
they are relevant to a point. The, it's not as common as maybe something that is more computer science related or application development related for, for people who are, who are looking to be software developers, but it does happen. And if you want to fix that and you want to learn quite a lot of interesting things, I think that having a look at the companies who post their architectures and kind of their designs for how they build different systems that's probably a very good investment for you it's going to teach you a lot and it's also going to give you a sense of how do you actually sketch up and how do you what are the components that make up these different architectures and so forth it's going i think that that's going to be enough for you to build up a little bit of confidence in uh, not just build your confidence at, as a system designer but also confidence with these sorts of interview questions. Have a great day.